In this week's movies, 12 Years a Slave, All is Lost, and Carrie. He's not coming. It's a trick. Carrie is the latest remake of Brian De Palma's 1976 horror freakout movie. You see, it's all going to be okay. Oh, repent. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, the tormented teenager proved a restless soul and returned in a 2002 television movie and a short-lived 1988 Broadway musical that was revived almost as briefly again in 2012. It's hard to keep a franchise craze down, especially one that can be retrofitted for today's fears. There will be a judgment. A seeming prisoner of her mother's madness, Carrie finds no refuge at school where the other girls taunt her. Wipe that smile off your face. Director Kimberly Pierce plays up the story's religious themes and Carrie's burgeoning power as she discovers her telekinetic gifts, even as the dread of the female body that deepens Mr. De Palma's version somehow goes missing. This Carrie has its share of terrors, certainly, partly because of the seeming timelessness of its deeper, more resonant themes. Monster. She's just a girl. An SOS call. Over. All is Lost is an action movie in the most profound and exalted sense of the term. In his review, A.O. Scott writes, True solitude is a rarity at the movies. The main character in J.C. Chandor's amazing All is Lost finds himself in the Indian Ocean in the empty waters between Indonesia and Madagascar. For the duration of the film, he is the only person in sight and says almost nothing at all. SOS call over. Identified only as our man in the credits, he is instantly recognizable as Robert Redford. There is certainly no other actor who can command our attention, our empathy, our loyalty, our love with such efficiency. But this is not, or not only, a parable of man against nature. The physical details are also vessels of specific meaning. And together, they add up to a fable about the soul of man under global capitalism. Help! Now you tell me all is lost. Tell no one who I am. That's the way to survive. Based on a true story, 12 Years a Slave is a movie about an African-American freeman who in 1841 was snatched off the streets of Washington and sold into slavery. How you feel now? In her review, Manola Dargis writes, 12 Years a Slave is an argument about American slavery that both reveals it as a system and demolishes its canards, myths, and cherished symbols. There are no messages, wagging fingers, or final act summations or sermons. Yes, master bought you here to work, that's all. Mr. McQueen's method is more effective and subversive because of its primarily old-fashioned Hollywood-style engagement. Any more, I'll earn you a hundred lashes. Director Steve McQueen keeps everything moving so fluidly and efficiently that you're too busy worrying about the main character, Solomon Northup, played by Chiwetel Ejiofor, to linger long in the emotions and ideas that the movie churns up. The genius of 12 Years a Slave is its insistence on banal evil and on terror that seeped into souls, bound bodies, and reaped an enduring, terrible price. Shall be beaten with many stripes. That's scripture. The condition of your laborers, it's all wrong. They're my property.